I'll eat the. What? Where's Franklin's car? Oh yeah, I'm as Mike Michael now. All right. No, I don't want to switch. The family. Oh, does this mean I'm gonna get my family back? Hopefully. That's gonna be awesome. Do 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 do. At least it stopped raining. That's the positive. I always love the dry surface. Pretty awesome that it's still got the puddles. That's nice. Move! Uh, oh, shit. Definitely need to do another parachute. The first parachute were kind of fun. Hopefully the second one's even better. Whoa! Oh, shit! I've actually started driving so bad recently and I don't know why, I, I really don't know what's got into me. I'm just a maniac. Anyway, let's go get family back. Whew. It's been way too long without them. I've really missed them. Even though they are kind of creepy, I've still missed them. I've missed Jimmy shouting at his computer friends. I've, uh, I've missed... Oops! I've missed Amanda shouting at me. I've missed Tracer shouting at me. They all used to shout at me. But I guess they loved me as well. I know I definitely loved them. Oop! Stop it! Yay! My car's back! Thanks, Trevor. He must have dropped it off. Alright. The family. Whew! Finally getting him back. No, well, maybe not. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> He always watches them films. Oh! Hello, Jimmy! Is this a dream or is it real? Oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just... Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool <laughs> anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit. <coughs> I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> so will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. <laughs> now, go. Get a job. Cause I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? <laughs> you know, it's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Ah, well, that was a creepy hey. reuniting. Uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right. All right, all right let's do it. Right. Come on, Jimmy. Let's hey, go. Take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. 
Come on, Jimmy Dog. Let's go get your mum. Bean machine, all right. Come on, get in here. Yes, this is so good. So, what's been happening? You know, I don't know stuff. No, I don't. Know. Oops. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. <laughs> it's it's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city. There they are, outside. Fabian too. Oh, what a treat. Fabian. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more bored. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, <laughs> that's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit I don't hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Oh, just say him. Come on. Anything for you, sweetheart. What, what are you Boom. Ah, I had some really good work there, you dick. There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you. I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic old drunken mess and he needs you. Yep. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone Shut up! Oh. I guess we could try. Yes! All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. Uh. All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on. I want one too. Later. <laughs> Jim is a base. He loves, he loves his dad now. Oh, it's Tracy getting a tattoo. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shit. Bad dad. <laughs> I actually forgot to wait. What? I forgot to wait for you to get in. Another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo, that asshole. What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Here's the tattoo shop. All right. Laszlo, you piece of shit. Get away from my daughter. You have no... Ooh. Look at him. Hello, sir. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen... If you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So, you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is going to have a little cosmetic work done. Come yeah. Please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. <laughs> Jim is a beast now. I like... Junk, okay? Pierce Laszlo's brow. Pierce Laszlo's <gasps> nose. Ear. Nose. Ear. Uh, <gasps> we'll do his nose. Ah, you made me yeah. A fucking hipster. Ah. Oh. Do his brow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> and last but not least, the ear. Oh, oh, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God, Papa Bear. Number two, gonna think about this. Daddy number two. <laughs> get him involved. Let's do. Daddy number two wants me dead. That's a, that's a clean needle. Through his right. chest. I don't need more Hep C. This is gonna make my man tits look enormous. All right. Please don't tattoo a cock. Oh, I think I'm gonna. Ah, let me get to work. Yeah. Throw those three little pubic hairs on here too. Looks so beautiful. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? <laughs> right, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Too fast. <laughs> Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. When I get nervous, I evacuate eh. my bowels. Yes. It's seeping out. Nice, sir. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look. Okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. Yeah. All right. All right <laughs> let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I like call you or something, okay? Bye. Never a family that needs therapy. We're going to the therapy now. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? Oh, I sweet. Skills you pick up in prison, you know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on. Hello, Tracer. Oh. Not quite. All right, now I'm gonna go to your mum and meet the therapist. Hopefully, he can actually help us with Not some of our family home, issues. <laughs> I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Hear, hear. Yes. Like finally, like, using your powers of selfishness and rage for, like, good. Not an objective, universal good, but like a subjective, what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody! Yeah, do love it, me now! Yeah! Do, do it! Do it! Do it! Do it. Do it. Okay? I love that we're getting along. Oh. You this dude's a nice car. I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. <laughs> therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? Hello, Amanda. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. All right. Here it is, the moment of truth. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. Oh. Go oh, down. Someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out. I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. Oh. <laughs> you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit. Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh. All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. 
That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. He's got a point. Let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Oh. Ah. oh, wait. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. Holy ah, shit. Why not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. <laughs> and that's really all the time we At least we're getting it all off our chest. Great. I think we made some real progress there. What what do I actually pay him for anyway? Uh, Michael. His crap? I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What? Double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. He robs people. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. Yay. All right then. Kids. We're going home. So, will you drive us home? Everyone in? Yep. Got the full family. Oh, this is so awesome. As soon as they come back into my lives. It's amazing. I thought, what? I don't know, like maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably <laughs> just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? Oh, no, no, not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. <laughs> oh. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum. How many guys is there? We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster Trevor. All right. Home sweet home. Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. All right, nice. Yay! Reuniting the family. Let's continue. And now where are we going? Oh, damn, we're going to turn it off after that. I just wanted to get my family back. Oh. Oh, damn, Trevor. What's going on here? Well, there's a few dead bodies here. Holy shit. It's, it always comes down to the lost MC. They're always dead. Anyway, guys, yeah, I'm going to um, end it here for today. Thanks so, so much for watching all of the parts. Hopefully, you guys are, are actually enjoying these. And, yeah, we're actually close to ending the game, so thanks so much for watching. Now we'll see you in the next part. Peace out, guys. Love you all, and adios.